Hey everybody, it's me, Vic. Today we are gonna talk about profile switching. So if you have more than one Stream Deck, and in my case, I have four. I have the Stream Deck Plus, I have the Stream Deck XL, I have the Stream Deck Pedal, and I have a regular Stream Deck. Currently, I'm only using three out of the four. So you see these two and the pedal, and the pedal is connected right here. I'm really excited because there's not a lot of uh, talk about profile switching. I mean, they tell you how to set things up, but they don't actually show you how to do it in a way that works best for you and your workflow. So let's get started here. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna create a brand new profile for each one, right? So in this case, we're gonna switch to our Stream Deck Plus device right here. Now, what I do with my Plus device is I actually use it, and you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and show you all the information here on the screen. I'm gonna use my Stream Deck Plus. So this blank spot right here is going to be a new profile. So we're gonna do switch to profile, right? And then what you're gonna do is select where it says device. We're gonna choose whichever device we wanted to go to, so we're gonna select our Stream Deck XL. Now, on our XL, we're gonna actually create a new profile and I'll bring that over here. You can see that I labeled it profile one. I'm gonna move this back to the right. And I do wanna mention, I am currently working on Stream Deck uh, software 6.2.1.18825 for those that are following along. And what I'm gonna do in my Excel is I'm gonna go to that profile one, right? So we know that this is gonna be here, but we want our Stream Deck plus this right here to go to profile one. So that way when I push the button, it automatically takes me here. So if I go to main, right, and I push this button, it should take me to the blank profile. So you're gonna see that happen here. So that's profile switching in a nutshell. But you know, you're gonna be creating a lot of different things in these particular profiles, right? So if you wanna label it, you can come here and select a new icon from the icon library, or if you have your own, you can do so as well. This was the original one, although I do like the new one but this is the original profile switching. We're gonna reset to default here. Now I am gonna choose my Stream Deck XL. And what I want to do is create another profile switching. So that way when I am using this particular profile, I can also take advantage of my pedal. So I'm gonna select here, Stream Deck Pedal. And what I'm gonna do is drop down to my pedal and I'm actually gonna do a new profile. And that's gonna be labeled profile one. So we're gonna go back to our XL. And what we're gonna do is select profile one. So if I select this here, it'll show the pedal with the three blanks right here. But I'm gonna go back to my outros real quick here. I'm gonna select the pedal and you're gonna see how it highlights everything right here. But if I go and I select that blank spot that we created, and then we, on our Excel, click here, we've already created a, a workflow. So we could use our string depth plus as kind of like a, a launcher to our Excel or our regular Stream Deck, and then we can use this one to do for the foot pedals. Um, it's very amazing how you have the building blocks to create whatever you need to as a template when it comes to profile switching. Um, I haven't figured out what I wanted to do with this particular profile because I do already have multiple profiles. So if we look here on my main, my main is basically an app launcher. I have another app launcher, but it's for games. And I have uh, customized this to a point where I like it the way that I have it because I'm able to select it this way. Now there are other applications and I'm gonna mention here, um, Advanced Launcher by Bar Raider. It'll actually do a lot of amazing things that I've done manually here um, with ease. Personally though, I don't like stretched out icons. I like to have the icons from the source itself. So that's why I'm not going that route. But uh, we could look at our Discord. And these are all profile switchings. Um, I haven't created a foot pedal one for Discord just yet, although I probably should, I haven't done so. Um, but you're able to see, you know, all of the custom things that you have for Discord. Um, and I have one, where is it? For voice mod. So this is my personal voice mod soundboard as opposed to the one that's gonna be with all of the voice changers as well as the voice mod profiles. Um, and then I have, one for Twitch somewhere. I guess I didn't set that one up, did I? Oh yeah, I did. Okay, so this is actually something from Crabs. Um, I forgot to label this Twitch though. So basically when one of these channels go live, it's like a Twitch watcher, right? When one of these channels go live, you will see a live preview here. 
and uh, you'll be able to tap the button. And when you do, it takes you to that web page. Isn't that awesome? I just randomly chose Elgato. That's so awesome. I love that I did that in this video completely unaware that I did. Anyways, thank you for watching, everybody.